That's my boy's grasshopper manufacturer. I don't know what playism is. Hello everyone, welcome to the silver case. Uh, the silver case, 2425? Uh oh. Hang on, let me look at the box. Yeah. So the box set is called the Silver Case 2425, and it comes with the original Silver Case game, which came out in looks like 1999, and it comes with the sequel, which came out in 2005, I believe. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna start off playing the original Silver Case, and. I don't have a set plan for how this is gonna go in terms of like the stream because uh, I don't know if this is the best game to stream or not for me because it's it's a heavily text-based game there's a lot of text which means a lot of reading and the story is important, so I need to read all the story, so I'm going to be narrating pretty much everything. Um, and I don't know how that's going to go in terms of people watching it. If it's gonna, people are going to enjoy that, or if it's going to be boring for them, or if it's going to kill my voice after a single stream. I have no idea how this is going to go. Hopefully it goes well then we can keep, I can keep streaming it. If it doesn't go well, that's okay. I'll probably just play through it off stream. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's hop into this. Why not? Fair warning, this game has lots of uh, explicit language, violence. Uh, I probably sexual stuff too. I mean, it's like a detective murder mystery type thing. Not sorry, murder mystery, but you'll see. Look at that. There's 2D animation. There's live action stuff. All kinds of stuff going on here. Kill the past. This is the start of Suda's Kill the Past series, which was never really supposed to be a series in the sense of like all the games were connected. It was always just supposed to be like a, a sort of like a recurring theme in a lot of Suda's games. This idea of leaving your past behind, I guess, or trying to overcome things from your past that are holding you back or causing issues or whatever. I don't know.
Oh my god. Well, thanks Koi for telling me that. I don't know why... It couldn't have been muted that whole time, right? I swear I made sure everything was good. It must have just wiggled out of place or something, right? Like recently? Because I had, I've been talking this whole time. Mm. Let me see, when did my voice cut out? Theme and a lot of... Wow, it cut out quite a while back. That sucks. I have been talking this whole time going into a bunch of detail about the series, about what I know of it. My plans. Quite a while back. Whoa. I was going into a lot, a lot of detail about this stuff. That really sucks. And then... Ooh, well, that is not a great start to this, is it? Um, so I, what had happened was I looked down. I had my mic plugged into the wrong USB because the other USB tends to, like... It, it tends to... Uh, unconnect a lot god damn it that sucks okay well thank you for telling me that koi i don't know how long i would have went without realizing my mic was not working uh okay so what happened in the story it was god i can't even remember it was uh there's 25 ward no 24 wards and they split it up into five regions uh, among the inhabitants selected by public vote 80 percent are poor 20 percent are wealthy creating a rift in the economic strata okay that's basically back to where we are i think oh thank god you told me before i got too far into the actual story Uh, the most outstanding source of conflict among the classes is caused not by the difference in income, but by the discord um, between those with easy access to information and those without. Yeah, this is where very, very political and philosophical stuff going on here. As are Killer7 had a lot of that too, but this one probably has like even more... The number of crimes has skyrocketed and related information is propagated using news shows and communication intelligent networks as media. A population of 100,000 people, Mayor Hachisuka enters his fifth term of office. The Metropolitan Police Department's Heinous Crimes Unit is an organization that immediately eradicates transmittable crimes. Hmm. There's a group of experts coordinated by a chief special agent, Shinji Kotobuki, uh, and an investigator who made a name for himself with the Silver Case. And that's what the game is named after. Silver Case head and former regional special agent, also known as the man who arrested Kamui. 24 Area se uh, Second Heinous Crimes Division special agent Tetsugoro Kusabi was on his way home. Now you may recognize that name Kamui. If you've played a certain other Suda51 game. Tetsugoro Kusabi, age 44. It happened one night in the dead of winter. That's him driving down the street. That's his GPS map. January 29, 1999, a Friday. Kusabi's car. Eleven thirty-two p.m. Heading home. That's him. What is this? A fucking lullaby? <laughs> Bro, I'm probably not gonna do voices the whole way through, but fucking radio playing nothing but shit. <laughs> Immediately, the cursing begins. Oh no. It's a Suda game, but it's text, so I'm, I don't have a choice. Uh, was this road really this long? On nights like this, weird shit happens. That's just the way it is. Like, the background is clearly based on a real, like, city line, which is pretty cool. 
mixed together with like the uh, the 3D road and the car. Hang on. What? We see something? I got a bad feeling. A real bad feeling. Someone standing in the road? Oh, he's holding a head. A man. The hell is that? Ah. Oh, he's got a gun. Damn. That barely missed. He took a shot, that fucking punk. And he's gone. That punk is crazy. His ass is going down for sure. I mean, did you notice he was holding a decapitated head? That part was a little concerning. I don't know. Uh, this is Kasa uh, Kusabi. Anyone? Anybody there? Respond. This is Hachisuka. Where is Sumio? He left. Oh. Something happened? A man with a gun just fired shots and fled near the river in E District. Call in the closest units. Where to? He's heading west in E3. Got it. We'll pinpoint him from here. Have you been injured? Nope. I dodged the slug. Watched it whiz right by. Huh? Nothing yet. Got it. Where is it within the jurisdiction? Hold on. Public safety. Those covert op guys. That's too many guys, huh? Okay, call them in. Got it. Shit. TGIF my ass. <laughs> Thank God it's Friday. I didn't realize that phrase had crossed over to Japan. <clears throat> TGIF, especially in the, well, in 1999, especially. No location yet? Target pinpointed cauliflower. Private railroad satellite. Perfect place to lie low. I'm gonna rush to the spot. Send the location to Natsume for me. Got it. All right, we're chasing down this punk who just shot at us for no reason. Holding a head even. I mean, who goes around holding a head? Lunatics. Oh, there's that moon. There's that that full moon. A staple of the Kill the Pass games. The first mayor of the 24 wards, Kaoru Hachisuka, launched the government's anti-conflict reforms. With the Department of Communications and Department of Finance structured around the former TRO and the Department of the Environment and Department of Investment structured around the former CCO, he fostered the sweeping organizational reforms to success. But the Department of Security, with the Central Police Department's Heinous Crimes Division, former TR faction, and the Public Security Department Security... Oh my god, this is a lot to take in. CCO faction was com uh, comprised of two separate factions. Okay. Public Safety Department to compete with the Heinous Crimes Division established a Republic Special Forces Unit handle to handle secret security cases. Okay, so the Public Safety Department and the Heinous Crimes Division are competing with each other, which is, come on, you guys should you be working together. Silver Case Head and former Regional Investigation Unit Investigator Daigo Natsume was offered the position of commander. Natsume then scouted Sakamoto, Inomata, and Jay <laughs> for the unit. Hey, me. I'm in the game. Who would have thunk? For the Republic's first campaign, they ironically run into the Heinous Crimes Division. As Natsume and Katsuba, uh, Kusabi Kat, his name, fates intertwine, the dark clouds of the Silver Case loom. A long night lies ahead for Daigo Natsume. Wow, I can't believe I'm in the game. That's pretty awesome. January 30th, 1999, Saturday, Republic Railcar. 
12 15 a.m. So this is the very next day. Oh, no, it's not it's later in the day It's like an hour later because it was already almost midnight <clears throat> A jurisdiction detective is already en route to the scene Cauliflower that's a funny name for a satellite tower and whatever the heck that is the target is at the Cauliflower in E3. We're currently closest to the scene. We need to pretend we just happened upon the scene. HQ confirmed the target and made the decision to get us involved. That means that this is a secret security authorized case. Keeping our movements under wraps is our top priority. So they're trying to like... Unfortunately, a jurisdiction detective happened upon the scene making things a bit difficult. We need to keep the amount of info he uh, let out at a minimum. It's like we're being intercepted by a separate crime division because they're competing with us. It's silly. You may come into contact with the detective, but avoid any unnecessary contact at all costs. Chief, what about contact in the range of level W or higher? Disposal will be a problem. Keep it at a level Y or below. Got it. I'll explain the plan simply. Save questions for afterward. Armin of level X or below has been approved. What you carry is up to you. After entering Cauliflower in E3, leave the targeted Cauliflower root. Proceed with disposal. That is all. Any questions? Chief, how should we carry out disposal? I'll leave that up to you. I'll provide remote support. What if capture is possible? I believe I said that this was a secret security authorized case. Do you need me to explain further? That will not be necessary. Anything else? That is all. Just because this is your first real fight doesn't mean you need to be overly vigilant. He who masters his own mind smiles in the end. Stay relaxed till you reach the scene. Nomada, can't you calm down? I'm about to lose my shit here. Then force it back down. I can't. My mind is cutting me off. If you can't force it down, then at least control yourself. You're gonna die. Okay. I'm scared too, to be honest. It's my first time in the flesh, you know? Sorry, but let me focus. This is totally different from training. Remember, Jay? Our training maneuvers up north? It was the first time you shot real bullets, yeah? But that wasn't the first time for me. Back when I was in the syndicate, old school bullets, they gave them to me I wonder what, what's, the, what's the difference between old school and new school bullets. They gave them to me to take uh, Tsubaki's head off. Of course they were modded to the point they might blow your goddamn hand off. Jesus. It's already thrown my life. I'd already thrown my life away so I didn't care. No matter what would have happened. Thinking about it now being young, I should have been full of hope. But it didn't matter then. Young, old, whatever. I got handed a piece and jumped in like a maniac, just popping caps all over the place. I missed every shot. All of a sudden I was surrounded, ten guns pointed right at me. That's when I first met the chief. Why did he choose me? He told me to put my life in his hands and he took me in. Same for you too, right Jay? Picked up by the chief. You know Mata too. Don't think about your own life. Believe in him. We'll carry out our lives. We put our hope in him. Don't forget it. Hmm. It's, it's weird. It's the fact that these two competing crime uh, departments. And he straight up said, like, terminate the target, basically. Dispose of them. But I wonder why. Okay, we're coming upon that tower. Wow, the 3D looks so nice. I, I think the version that I played on Steam originally was the PS... Like, it was based on the PS1 version, because I don't remember the CD... CD... The 3D looking so good. Where's Natsume?
Look at it go. We'll be arriving at Cauliflower in E3 soon. Here they come. The Republic. What is this, Star Wars? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure the, the version I played, the models weren't nearly this nice. We'll decide on formation after entry. I'll get instructions from HQ over the radio. You guys are basically like guinea pigs. Refrain from acting arbitrarily and prioritize a collection of sample data. Any questions? That is all. Okay, sync your watches. Sakamoto, count us down. Got it? Countdown to zero. Start the countdown in normal time, as opposed to not normal time. Don't forget, this is not an exercise. You need to remember that this is the real thing. Again, this is an actual fight. Come back alive. That is all. Good luck. Guinea pigs, huh? What a way to win them over. These are soldiers? So it was you. I heard you were back in the field. You too, right? Looks like one final gamble to me. I don't gamble. I'm in the self-defense unit. What about you, Kusabi? I started that thing up because of the silver case. The heinous crimes unit, huh? I thought you'd come too. I didn't think we'd meet up like this. I can never go back there again. I'm not as strong as a man you, as you, Kusabi. It's not about that. It's because the old man could use you. That's strength. Being young and all. Just like your soldiers. I've also got young ones to take over the next generation. There's still plenty of shit you gotta show them. Kusabi. Natsume. It's not just us anymore. Don't overwork yourself, we still got a long ways to go. That may be true. How's Sakura doing? She just turned 22. She'll be graduating college this year. They get so big. How is she? She become a proper woman yet? She takes after my wife, real stubborn. You know how she is. She's not a little girl anymore. It's a good thing. Even if she acts like she hates you, your daughter is still more precious than anything. Really? Chief, we're moving in. Okay. Sakamoto, yeah, going first, then Inomata and Jay. <laughs> hmm, there's a name there that doesn't quite fit in with the rest of them. Got it. It's enough nostalgia for now. I'll back you guys up too. Thanks. It's basically a war zone. Alright, we're going in. We are going in. Okay, first floor of the cauliflower. It's not so many, read me. Loud and clear. And Amada and Jay are both okay. I'll forward you the set points. Get on your respective points and get into formation. Got it. Jay, calm down. Wait for my orders. Stay in position. Inamata, do you read me? The obstacles in front of you create a blind spot. Make sure to get proper confirmation. Don't forget the perp is armed or you'll get yourselves killed. I know. Stop fucking around, you idiot. You're in the nucleus of the 24 Wards Private Railroad. Innocent citizens are going to get killed if you start shooting like a maniac. Got it. Sakamoto going ahead. Relieve Jay. Got it. Jay, listen up. There's a plate up ahead of you. Check it out. Going up to the second floor, Chief. Wait, don't move yet. Got it. Okay. Jay, get moving. Take some time before you get used to the controls. And it'll seem complicated at first, but don't worry. You'll get used to it. It'll get easy quickly. When the menu opens, set the command ring to M and press the A button. Okay. Directional buttons, the left stick, the right stick to move. So M to move. And then D-pad actually move 
Sakamoto, can you pinpoint the utility point? Calculating now. And I'm going to send your movements over this way. Got it. Forwarding now. It's finished. Got it. Entering collaboration. I'll explain the commands. M is movement. This is how you move around. Okay. I don't think I need to read every single word here, but... Hold A button to move quickly. That's good. Seize contact. Use this to touch stuff. See the sun symbol in front of you? You see. Eyes implement. This is for tools. Let's you work out where to use it. S is for system. This is for your records. You may save on any point. Try saving once. Said earlier, let me see complicated. You can do it, Jay. I believe in you. Thank you. Wow, he really believes in me. Alright, so... Let's try saving. There we are. And then go back to move. It's a little convoluted, honestly, the uh, the way you have to like select which action you want to do. But I'll, it reminds me of like a lot of those older point and click games where you have to specifically, there's like 20 different things like touch, push, punch, eat, and you have to like pick one of those and then click on the thing. During movement, you can press the X button to make direct contact. Try using it gradually. Hmm. What do they mean? Like... No time to screw around, hurry up. Direct contact. So they're saying that I could talk to them, basically. I think. Oh wow, you can move really fast if you hold down the A button. Alright. Um, this is a contact point. Wait. Wait, I'm confused. I thought you were supposed to go to the sun and then... Uh oh, that's not good. Well, there's a sun over here. Okay, check out the plate. Okay, so... There we go. This plate isn't for decoding. Maybe it's for real estate authentication. Looks like it. Chief, I found a switch. Probably the lights. Turn it on. Got it. Jay. There should be a control panel nearby. Check it out. Namata, what's up? I think I saw someone up above. I'm going in ahead. Wait, don't act on your own. Sakamoto, stand down. Let him go on ahead. That's not going to be good. You know, Mata, I'm going to forward you the target point. Don't go too far. Got it. Thank you. It's going to be okay? I don't care. If anyone's in a hurry to die, I won't stop them. Dude. Got it. This guy reminds me of Barry Burton. He just kind of looks like Barry. Jay, about the control panel. During movement, use the R button to look up. Use the ZR button button to look down. Look hard and you'll find it. Get on it. Okay. So... Okay, need to find something here. Not exactly sure what we're looking for. Well, there's a contact point here. Well, it says there is, but then it doesn't... I guess they don't want us to mess with it yet? Hey Otto, isn't this that uh, Hideo Kojima game when he learned how to make Super Nintendo games? 
Um, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not sure. Oh, hang on. Over here, maybe? Check this out. Stand in front of the supercomputer terminal to the north and look down. Uh, north. This? Ah. Oh, I see. They're saying, okay. <clears throat> How about a J? You understand? Yes, I do. Okay. Checking. Not yet. It's probably something that'll change the structure. It's for decryption code input. This is like the tutorial, so there's like a lot of... It's very wordy right now. Until we get it out, uh, don't mess with it. Jay, I'm gonna back up in Amada. I'm going up. Come with me. Uh, I don't think I want to back that guy up. He ran off to die. Uh, it was a visual novelish game that you play as a detective, says Otto. I didn't know Hideo Kojima made a Super Nintendo game. Shit, I forgot something even more important. You can move your field of view up and down. It's simple. Use the R button to look up, use the R button to look down. You already said that. That's weird. I don't know if I triggered the thing in the wrong order. Jay, you know what the sun symbol means? You know, huh? Keep an eye on the mark in front of your eyes. There's nothing in the triangle symbol. For the sun symbol, there's always something there. Go search for it. Well, there's a sun symbol right here. Well, what does that mean to me exactly? Nothing. Hang on, wait a minute. I mean, it says there's a contact point here, but I don't know where. Jay, you know what the, ah, blah, 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 blah. I think I, oh, Snatcher, okay. I don't, I don't really know anything about Snatcher. I know that... <clears throat> I know Suda did a collab with Hideo Kojima with something involving Snatcher, but I don't really know anything about the game. God damn it. I keep selecting him. Apparently I don't have these controls down at all. Ay ay ay, okay. So where are we supposed to Oh I remember now. We're, it's like a we never did the freaking code here, I just looked at it and left like a dummy. Okay, so A is B, B is D, C is F D is H H is J I actually don't remember how this works it's all the letters of the damn alphabet we can't go through all of them okay hang on a second we need to find the code first Hey, but when I first played this, I don't remember being like stuck here for so long. I have no idea what I'm doing now. Is this actually supposed to be an explanation or is it supposed to be blurry like that? Oh boy. It says there's a contact point here, but where exactly? That's another thing I don't get. It's right here, apparently. 
Oh, I could just use the right stick to move. Okay. Yeah, I don't... I don't... I feel like I missed something. I walk here and he tells me that. Sun symbol, keep an eye on it. Yes. There's always something on the sun symbol. And there it is. And we walk up to it. It says contact point. But if you go to contact, the only option is to talk to him and then he's just going to say that same thing again. Man. Why am I stuck already? Oh, I went to the door again like an idiot, and then here we go. I don't think this stream's turning out so well, guys. Maybe this was a mistake. Because, okay, we have, we have the computer, but we don't know the code for the computer. So, we can't do anything here. This is a contact point, but it's just this plate, which doesn't actually tell us anything. Because we can't read any of that. Uh, it says there's a contact point here, but I don't see where they're talking about. Wait, there's arrows. Are they saying to look down here? This is the contact point? Oh, oh my god. All this time, there was just, it was a tutorial for me to pick up a freaking manga or like a lewd magazine. And I didn't see it down there. Okay. Is that something I should look at? I thought... I don't... Um, uh, let's see. Implement gun. Comic. The bikini model is Bayan Sayaka. Okay. We learned a lot from that. Okay, now I, now I see it actually tells you where the contact point is. You just have to look in the right spot. Oh. Yeah, okay, see, I was supposed to go through that door like I kept trying to, but he wanted us to finish the tutorial and pick up that magazine. I mean, it looks like a lewd magazine, does it not? Okay, Sakamoto. I can't pinpoint Inomata. This room is using an absorber. An absorber? Like an anti-jamming device? Seems like it. That's what the data says. It's designated as structure of unknown use. This sort of accident was to be expected. So what about Inomata? Back him up. Got it. You ready, Sakamoto? You take the lead from here and on out. Got it. I'll pinpoint and set our sights on the target. Lead them up to the roof. I'll take care of them. Got it. Jay, there's a door lock past here. The code input is complicated, but don't worry. We've already got the info required to unlock the door. A text string needs to be decrypted. Unfortunately, we don't have the password yet. Find the password. Check the right, you check the door on the left. Okay. I guess I... If I go right, he'll probably yell at me. Let me see. Hurry up and check it out. Okay. Okay. It's locked. Okay. 
Yeah, we don't know the password. What's this? Oh, right. Okay, I think I remember now. Okay, so Q N H E X K. Q N H E X K. We want to remember that. I'm just gonna type it. So I, that way, it's just there. So I think what we need to do is. <clears throat> Go back to the other room, and that'll decrypt it. J, the control panel codes a Caesar decipher. Only engineers come and go from here. Well, I'm not an engineer. That means they would want to code with easy to memorize rules. Caesar ciphers are decrypted by shifting letters in the alphabet. Yeah, this is more tutorial stuff. I, I think we get the idea. Shit, it's locked. I don't even know what this means. We'll have to use a decryption code on the control panel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have to go back to the first floor and... Yeah, and decrypt it. But let's get his door's code as well. Oh, is he not gonna let us look at it yet? Um... Okay, whatever. We'll just do ours then. Okay, so this point, whoop, boom. So we put in the letters from the other door, which were Q and H E X K. All right, so the code we need to put in the door is RPKICQ. I think that's how this works. I think. I could be remembering wrong. Hopefully we did that right. Okay, how do we leave this? There we go. Didn't work. Mmm. Our. <sighs> Man, you know what? I remember having this problem when I first played this. Like, it doesn't. It's not very clear about how this works. Like, we get these numbers here. Oh, there's the word please up there. I just saw the word please up there. Hey, Feck. You, you came just in time to help me do something that I've already done before, but I forgot how to do it. Uh, Feck said, I've, I've finished the bronze case, so I'm all cut up and ready to go. Yeah, all, all you need to know is that we... A detective was driving on the road, and he ran into this guy in this This guy in the street... He didn't literally run into him, he stopped the car, but there was a guy standing in the middle of the street... Who, uh... 
Okay, so we need to type in please into the other thing. Jay, what are you, stupid? Decrypt the text written on the door into the password using a Caesar cipher. Ch please! He's so mean. See, I, d I didn't realize- this happened to me the first time I played this. I didn't realize that the word please was that- for some reason I just completely missed that. <clears throat> Um, anyways, this guy was in the detective was driving home from work, guy stopped in the middle of the street, shot at the detective, and so the detective chased him to this tower, and this other, like, group of, like, like a special, like, crime unit kind of showed up at the same time, and... We're in the tower. We're, we're barely, like, in the first floor still. So you didn't really miss too much. Just a lot of chatter. Okay. So, if we put the word please... Wait. Um, why did my controller stop working? Um, god damn it. Okay, this is a Switch game, so that shouldn't be happening. <laughs> we can't blame my USB port. It's doing it again. There we go. That was weird. That legit seemed like a glitch. Okay, please. Wait a minute. I put in the word please, but it just gave me the code that pops up on the other thing anyways. So why would we have to come down here to decipher that if it was already... Oh, I think I remember this now. Okay. Okay, I'm starting to get flashbacks. It, this is actually kind of dumb, honestly. I forgot about this. Okay, so... I got this all mixed up and I'll explain what happened here. So we were trying to find... That's the funny thing, Frag, is that you don't even have to... We don't even need to write that down, because look... Alright, so I got this all mixed up. When, when I first got here, I need to find out the code, right? I ne For some reason, my brain just completely ignored the word please there. And I looked around, I was like, what do I do here? So I saw this magnifying glass. I hit the magnifying glass. And I see this. Oh, that must be the code I need to decipher. So I wrote that down. I went to the first floor, put that in. You just get nonsense. Um, but anyways, the problem is, uh, the problem is, uh, the magnifying glass is literally just there if you are stuck or I guess if you don't feel like doing it because it just tells you the password. That's all that magnifying glass is, is for cheating. So there's no reason for us to go down to the first floor and... Translated, that is the password. Wow, that sound effect was similar. Familiar, I mean. <clears throat> but they didn't, they don't explain that. So... I mean, does that make any sense to you? The characters are literally yelling at you to go downstairs and decipher it. But there's a magical magnifying glass that just tells you everything. I don't know, I, it seems weird. Like... If you- it was on like... An easy mode, or if you could like... Choose to get help. But the fact they don't explain what the magnifying glass does is kind of weird. But fact says, wait, that doesn't make sense. If that were a Caesar cipher, the two E's would be translated to the same letter. 
Huh, you're right. That's weird. Maybe depending, it's like an advanced Caesar cipher where the position of the letter changes it to another letter. I don't know. But yeah, that, that, it's weird. We got a portable control panel. That's good. I don't know what that does yet. I guess we're done in here. You did it, Jay. Do this door next. It's locked. So, open your eyes. So that's the phrase. So here's the thing. We could go downstairs and put this code in and like that's fine and dandy or we could just hit the magnifying glass it literally fills in the code for you it just kind of i don't know it defeats the purpose of the decoding on the first floor but like yeah why would i go down <laughs> look up to the sky and see I'm just a detect- Oh! We found something. Jay, what's up? Hell... So there's a survivor. I don't know if she's gonna be surviving for long. Her heart rate is normal. She seems to be okay. Oh! But she's covered in blood, though. Hmm. Oh! It's okay. We came to rescue you. She doesn't look okay at all. What are you talking about? You're gonna be okay, don't worry. Stay calm. We're here to help you. Everything's fine now. Don't worry. We came to help. We'll protect you. Just stay calm. This is dangerous. Dude, he, he really was drilling in that it's gonna be okay. Until she calms down, don't let her move. Jay, I'm gonna go help Inomata. Let's hurry to the third floor. Uh, so what's up with all the words flashing in the background? I don't know. Beep, beep, system, LDA. I don't know if it's because we're near computer stuff. Like maybe depending on where we are, like relevant words will appear. Yeah, I'm not actually so sure. Okay, we're working our way up. Oh, I, I saw the word save. That's probably a smart idea. Yeah, why don't we save actually? Whoops, I didn't mean to make a second one. Uh. There we go. Yeah, the presentation is really nice. I think uh, it did. They did a good job making it all widescreen and stuff, considering it was originally a uh, PS1 game. And the 3D models are all updated and everything, too. Alright, what's this here? The controls are a little weird to get used to. Hey, 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 hey. I guess you can argue that, like,. The point of this game isn't really that there's puzzles, though sometimes there are puzzles, I think. It's more that the story, but uh, da -da -da -da. I swear, Suda uses that sound in like every game. Fuck, I'm hit. You okay? Take a fucking look. I'm pretty far from okay. Are you hurt pretty bad? Dude, I think he is. Just a bit. <laughs> but I can't move my goddamn arm. You fall back. Can you move on your own? Yeah. If I force it, then force it. That's not very nice. I'm injured, you know. You've acted on your own. I got no sympathy for you. We're getting back up now. These guys are mean. So when we first entered the building, the young guy was like, 
I think I hear something upstairs. I'm going to go up and see. And they're like, okay. And this Barry Burton looking guy is like, should, we shouldn't just let him go up there. And then the, the, the captain, I guess he's like the oldest one. He's like, uh, I ain't in a rush. No. What did he say? I'm not trying to stop anyone who's in a rush to die or something. Like these guys are mean. There's a survivor on the second floor. Get her out of here. Got it. You heard him, Jay. I'm going downstairs. Our guy's in the back. He's pretty fucked up. It's like he's not afraid to die. No, it's more like he's enjoying the risk of death. He's laughing. About the fact that he's about to get killed. What the fuck? <laughs> laughing all cynically like that? He can't accept his own death. A typical criminal. Jay, kill the motherfucker. Don't even let the world know this guy exists. Just dispose of his ass. Hey, Sakamoto. You listening? That's the job. This guy's pretty stiff. Is that a problem? I don't screw around. I'm falling back. Sakamoto, Jay, it's up to you guys. Uh, Fax says, is there any sort of decision making or branching narrative structure in this? Or is it just linear point A to B visual noveling with some puzzles tossed in there? I haven't played enough of the game to really know that. I've only played like maybe a few hours in before. So maybe we'll find out more about that. I know that they do some like change ups here and there that you wouldn't expect. Uh, and I know that the sequel to this game has like a hundred different alternate endings. So yeah, I guess we'll see. Where am I supposed to go actually? Forget the lower floor, we're moving on. Okay. So I just walk through here? No. Oh, we're just taking the elevator probably. You know, Mata, what's up? I'm here. I'll search for the female survivor. Hurry. She's not here. Is the location accurate? Of course. Keep on looking. Quit bitching. Fuck off. I know. Get on it. Um, I'm not sure what they Oh, okay. I didn't realize you could walk through that. I thought it was a computer. What the fuck? Christ. She was so young. Jay, the target is up above. I can't let this guy get away with this. I'm gonna kill the motherfucker. Let's move. Okay. Um, so I guess this is another puzzle door. What? It's over. What? It's over. It seems like these passwords have some, like, meaning to them besides just the fact that they're passwords. It's been reformatted. Inamata, do you read me? Inamata, respond. Son of a bitch. Again? We've just gotta roll with it. I'll go back down and revert the control panel. Once it's been restored, open this up. Be ready. Okay. Should I just try to do this again? Inamata, respond. Inamata, where are you? Answer me. Jay, something's wrong. I can't find Inamata or the woman. There's no sign of them. Everything okay there? I think so. I guess in this case it's definitely... The puzzle element is more relating to the story than it actually being a puzzle for the player. Did it work that time? I'm at the control panel, I'll fix- oh, I had to wait for him. Restoration complete, but it's no good. The password's been changed. Looks like he switched it on us. We're screwed. Okay. I'm just gonna try it again anyways. See what happens. Did it not work? Oh, it worked. There we go. See, we're good to go. Jay, don't rush ahead. 
I gotta. We can't let him get away or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right, we're on the rooftop. There's a full moon. The Suda just loves so much. This is Natsume. Jay, so this is like the captain. He's he's not actually on site. He's like remotely contacting us. I don't even know if he's like what you would call him, but he's like a higher up. I've got you locked. I haven't found the target. He may be hiding in a blind spot. Move with caution. What happened to Sakamoto and Yunamata? Have they gone in for backup? I don't know, but we're gonna figure this out. Hang on, there was a contact point there. They want us to look down. Oh! Another magazine? Oh! Oh my god, that's. That is, uh. Suda51's co uh, comic hero, or manga, I guess. I forgot. I still need to read that, too. I have the, uh. Someone translated it, did a fan translation. Wow, that's so cool. I, I honestly was wondering if we're just gonna keep finding lewd comics, because I think the last one was... Hang on, I actually kind of want to see uh, what it says about that now. <laughs> comic beam. New comic beam. Uh, Otto said, Suda loves full moons because he's a furry with a particular lo Okay. Interest regarding where... You know, Otto? I don't believe you. Oh, it doesn't say anything. Because when you look at the other one, it says, uh... The bikini model is Bayan Sayaka. I'm trying to remember the name of, uh... That, mo that, that story he wrote. It's like Dance with Death or something. Anyway, we gotta find this guy. Is he up here? Move cautiously. Don't do anything stupid. Oh boy, here we go. Hey, it's the girl, isn't it? What happened? Help me, 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 help me. Oh my god. This is actually like more disturbing than if someone was just saying the phrase over and over again. Something about that just... God, that string of text. A survivor. Jay, leave them for now. Got it? Don't fuck this up. The target is hiding close by. Okay. Um... You can't hide from the truth. Otto, your truths are... are not of this reality. Full moon again. The, the full moon was covered and now it's uncovered again. I'm sure that's relevant. Oh! I'll kill you. Wait, I'll kill you, kill you, didn't do anything. I'll kill you, kill you, kill you. That woman, what? Okay. Wow. Jay, fire, don't hesitate. Shoot the motherfucker. Okay. Rebel, 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 please don't kill me. Rebel, rebel, I really don't want to die. This rebel, rebel, rebel. Real gamer? Real gamer? Stop. I don't want to die, I don't want to die. Why do you say real game? What a sick fuck. Oh! So, this guy, uh, was it Kasube? Kasube or something? He was the one who ran into the killer originally and he chased him down. And he was like off duty, but he, 
I don't think he... When the other special unit showed up that I'm a part of, like, he was kind of just supposed to stand back, but I guess he must have followed me in. Excuse me, but this falls under our jurisdiction. Don't act without our permission. You hear that from Natsume? Is that it, Natsume? The chief has nothing to do with this. We hold the disposal rights for this target. This doesn't concern you. So this is how you want to handle it. This isn't fucking high school, Natsume. Is this what you wanted to do? Answer me, bitch. He, he's talking about the uh, the higher up of the unit, because I guess they knew each other beforehand. Maybe they were friends, but they kind of separated. There's a weird thing going on in this city where like there's two different branches of like the, the crime units that are kind of, I guess, competing with each other. Chief, who is this asshole anyway? The Kotobuki Syndicate. Kotobuki? Drop the shitty nicknames. It's the 24 Ward's heinous crimes unit. The same as you assholes. Like a disposal service. So does that mean it's supposed to be okay, Chief? Someone of your standing should probably shut the fuck up now. It's the guy who cut off your lead. Fuck. Well, that's just how it is. Now to clean things up here. Hey, baby face. You there, the one that looks like a chinchilla. I think he's talking about me. You mean Jay? <laughs> the fuck should I know? The chinchilla. Why the hell didn't you fire? You frozen in fear or something? You're gonna get your ass killed. Listen, chinchilla. My face is burning into this guy's eyeballs. These pieces of shit are fucked in the head. So don't leave even a bit of skull. Wipe them the fuck off this planet, this plane of existence. Oh my god. Hmm. Uh, you listen up too, straight edge. Why are we disposing of these guys? Any idea? They're criminals. So? This guy is a killer. I'm sick of this childish bullshit. You're a funny guy, Natsume. You do some really unique shit. Listen up. Disposal means cutting these motherfuckers out of this world. Get rid of their very existence so nobody ever has to see them again. This crime virus they're spreading around. Cut it off at the source. Right, they, they referred to something earlier as like transmittable crime. And it even was in quotations. Like it's almost like they believe that there's this... This contagious form of crime spreading around. Thak said that I figured it out. The chief looks like Senator Armstrong pre nano machines. <laughs> oh god. Annihilation of the self. That's what we do. Tenacious. You guys take over from here and watch your backs. You kill them, 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 you kill them. What are these. What a. What is happening? This creepy motherfucker is at it again. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Who's saying that? Look, this is what crime brings. This is the demon brought on by their criminal powers. I'm not dead, I'm not dead, I'm not dead, I'm not dead. Is that the dude that he just shot? Yelling that? Can you shoot him, Chinchilla? Can you take them on? Fire. Destroy this very moment. Oh, hey, J-Dub. Yeah, this game is very intense. She did it. The victim. Why won't you leave us alone? We were finally able to be together. That woman is gone now. Leave us alone. I finally understand. I won't falter again. Bring the hammer down on these unforgivable bastards. Jay, get rid of them. Uh... Please help me. I don't want to die. I just couldn't take that woman anymore. That's why I killed her. What's wrong with that? She got in my way. What's wrong with killing her? Fuck you. I'll kill you all too. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill you. Killing me will change nothing. Everything starts here. The devil will come upon us once again with the sound of the bells. 
We cannot die. We will have your revenge. Our revenge. The new ill... God. The new will be re reborn. Together with Kamui the Holy Hunter. There's that name again, Kamui. You may recognize that from another suit again. When Kamui returns, he will be the god of chaos. Kamui Ure Uehara. So the sleeping lion's been awakened. This is going to be a long journey. There we go. Why was Saria's song playing? I don't know. Hey, Nightmare. Warning, Nightmare. This is this game is a lot of uh, a lot of mature stuff going on. Lunatics. Decoy Man is coming soon. So we we basically did the prologue chapter. Was Lunatics. Now we're moving on to Decoy Man. Is the next chapter. I don't know if they killed her or not. I, I guess it would suggest they did. What is going on here? Film window. You probably should save the game. They really encourage you to use a new save file every time. Uh. Okay. So that's how we go to the next case. Um, I guess we can't do the other side yet. It's not letting me go over there. This is such a weird, like, intermission menu. Alright, next case. Decoy man. Okay. Um... There we go. March 22nd, 1999. On Monday. Halakiri Batting Center. Wait. Harakiri? Isn't that the... The whole... You know, where the warrior, like, kills themselves to keep their honor? Tetsu. Kamui's gonna make a move. Huh? The hell do you mean? He's gonna wake up. Is this info from your place? No. I don't know that much. Then what? Pocket money. How greedy. Don't overestimate civil servants. Over time for this quarter's getting cut. Fine, never mind then. You son of a bitch. I'll shoot your ass dead where, where you stand. Kidding, kidding. It's just a hunch, but I got my wisdom teeth pulled, right? At that time, what, one time? Just before the silver thing. Oh, Hadakari, Hadakiri. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. And? So what? You're trying to tell me that your toothaches are supposed to be some sort of antenna for shit about to go down or something? Exactly. What kind of jerk off in this day of age believes that superstitious bullshit? No, really, I'm telling you, it's accurate. You really shouldn't- you really should believe it. Right about now, he's taking life slow in the clink. Probably even gone and reformed himself by now. Don't underestimate what my teeth can do. I'm telling you, they got a knack for this kind of second sight. Okay, then. I believe you. I don't get it, but I believe you. So, what am I supposed to do now? Fact said I had a friend call it Harry Carey once. That, that's a, that's a thing with older people, I think, because my grandpa, uh, would call it Harry Carey. So I think it's just kind of a weird thing that crossed over to the U.S. like decades ago. Like when that phrase first, probably in like old samurai movies or something. Hmm. Okay, live action footage of a woman running down like, is that past the building, the subway station? It's kind of hard to tell. I wonder if they filmed this for the game or if they like found, if they had like just 
footage they found. Okay. Uehara, Kamui. Resident record control number, yada yada. Registered locality, not any. Current address, not any. Date of birth, not any. All points bulletin. March 1979, Central Police Designation Case, yada yada. AKA the Silver Case, arrested during commission of crime. So this is 20 years before this game takes place. August 1984, received diagnosis of extremely high level mental disorders, criminal trial canceled. September 1984, decision made to apply special measures. Committed to the psych ward at IMM Hospital in the 24 wards. Begin counseling and general treatment. Length of period undisclosed. Why is treatment in quotations? Criminal of The Criminal of Legend Awakens. March 27th, 1999. Continuing his treatment at IMM Hospital, Conway murders a hospital worker and escapes. The victim was Conway's personal counselor. Yuri, uh, Yuriko uh, Sonora, 26. The weapon was similar to a customized harpoon... What? How did he make a harpoon gun while in... Like... Yeah, what the hell? Estimated time of death between 10 and 11. Mm. The time of tracking surveillance satellite in geostationary orbit began tracking the point representing Kamui. So they still have a tracker on him. 11.15 the same day. Deployment of Public Security Department Special Forces Unit Republic was decided. That's our unit. That's the unit that Jay's in. 1145, Republic arrived in the woods in E-Ward to which Kamui has escaped. Operation Secure Kamui begins. By 11.55 p.m., Republic fails to secure Kamui. Two killed in duty, two injured. Oh no! So we, we just had a whole like hour long prologue introducing there's me and three other guys. Apparently two of them are dead. We don't know which ones yet. Just past midnight, uh, March 28th, satellite track and Kamui disappears. Kamui is assumed to have gone underground in an untrackable area. Well, I hope Jay survived. You know, Jay seemed like an okay guy. <clears throat> uh, two special agents, Tetsugoro Kusabi and Sumio Kodai, head to the cr scene of the crime. Decoy man. He likes using that a lot. That, like, adding man at the end of a word. Because in Killer7, Cloud Man is a chapter. And then in uh, No More Heroes, Destroy Man is one of the assassins. We have decoy man. March 28, 1999 is Sunday. At the hospital. Leg work. I'm guessing they're checking in on the survivors. He fucking called it. Excuse me? No, it's nothing. Just talking to myself. His teeth were right. Kamui actually did awaken. All these character portraits have such lovingly detailed schnozzes. <laughs> they do, there's like the light reflecting off of them. Uh, until yesterday, Kamui was going through the usual curriculum at his isolation ward. He seemed totally fine. So that's totally fine. Patient murdered his counselor and escaped. What a lovely fucking story. Any problem with the system of management? There are always two security guards present. I don't think there are any problems. So you got two amateur ass Renicops on a crazed serial killer. That's basically like begging him to murder someone. Kamui Urara didn't have the capacity to take care of himself normally. He has extremely de uh, debilitating mental disorders. He does not currently possess the capacity to kill or hurt anyone. So he's all broken down? That's all. That's a prejudiced viewpoint. There are cases which are not directly linked to mental breakdown. Well, whatever. So the main point is Kamui's not here then. Thank you, Doctor. We appreciate your cooperation. It's a lot like the older and younger detectives from Paranoid Agent. 
I get it now. Some detectives really can be somewhat difficult individuals. Just like on TV. This was fun. Okay. Same here. I guess there are quack doctors everywhere too, huh? I sure like to be your personal physician. Anyway. It's kind of a weird thing to say to someone. That dick just won't shut the fuck up. It's sort of your fault. You were pretty rude to him. True. True. So, who the, who the fuck is this guy? He's been sitting here the whole time. Fucking creepy. He's the sole survivor from Special Forces. Real name unknown. No registration found. We found signs of it having been deleted. His code name is Jay. Oh no. Sounds pretty sketchy to me. What a fucked up story. You've come into contact with him before, a cauliflower. Oh, you mean that chinchilla. So you're saying only he came back alive? Commander Natsume is currently in the ICU. I don't know how I feel that my nickname in this game is Chinchilla. I know. Natsume isn't gonna die. Damn, so I guess everyone except me died by the end of it. The other one must have died in the hospital. Okay, so now we're actually gonna go see what happened, I think. We'll go over the plan one final time. Target all points bulletin. Our goal is to bring Kamui Uihara back alive. Target is thought to be armed. We don't know what sort of weapon. Armament level Z. Bring him in. If we're capturing him with Z level armament, armaments, then why? Save your questions for later. I'll continue. All right, fact, no problem. You have a good night. Uh, these orders from up top. Just follow them. Don't think. Keep your shit together. Got it. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, that definitely was not from the PS1 version. That looked way too nice. Uh, according to satellite tracking data, the target doesn't seem to have left here. Lure the target to point GFO3 and secure him. Clean everything up with the 100 second countdown after we begin. That is all. About the armaments. What is it, Sakamoto? What if it's difficult to bring him in alive? Our main goal is to bring him in alive. We... We're gonna find ourselves at extreme disadvantage. This plan needs a guaranteed unit survival rate of 60% in order to be approved. Fill in the remaining 40% yourselves. Got it. Man, they have no idea what's coming. Depending on the situation, I may join you. Good luck. Inamata, chill out. He's only one guy. This will be no problem, right? Yep, totally. Nothing could go wrong. Look at Jay. This guy's wiped out his emotions. Don't equate me with him, frigid bastard. Then fucking control yourself, otherwise you're just gonna die. Die, huh? I'm gonna die? Just me? Inamata. Even at Cauliflower, only I got shot. By some regular citizen. That little punk bastard. It's because you underestimate the power of crime. Even a normal citizen, if their desire to hunt a person is high enough, has the power to commit a crime. They can even be tougher than us, you get that, right? Inamata, you were bested in terms of that power. It's impossible, I can't. You need to have more criminal power than the target. Disposal is the same as crime. Just hunt the target. Keep that in mind. I can't lose. If I think of it as hunting, I can't be beat. It's the same as training. As far as the ability to secure a target goes, Inamata, you're better than anyone. I know. Okay. You ready to 2J? I guess so. You just called me a frigid bastard. That wasn't very nice. Chief, we're ready to go. Okay. Turn your radios to channel 2. We'll move on my zero count. Execute the mission. We'll enter formation once we find the target. Sakamoto, you move ahead until we find the target. Gotcha. March 27th, Saturday. Hmm. 
Oh! Wow, it was so dark I didn't realize we were actually... ...in gameplay already. Okay, we're moving ahead. Target found. We're moving. Oh, they found him. Okay. Spread out and lure the target to GFO3. Got it. Nomada, get to my left. Jay, follow the radar directions. Don't be late. Got it. Sakamoto, you're too close to the target. Get some distance. Got it. Sakamoto, you read me. Get some distance. Is this thing broken? The display distance and the visual distance don't match. Inamata J, do you read me? Confirm target distance with your scopes. Hurry up. Target lost. Currently at... Huh? Uh... Sakamoto. What's going on? Sakamoto, respond. Sakamoto! Chief! Sakamoto's callback. Continue the mission. Everyone keep your distance and follow the target. Keep this distance till I join you. Chief! You bastard! Keep following the mission. Don't fuck around, you idiot. Fuck off! I'll hunt him! Jay, continue following the radar. Oh boy, here we go. Keep formation, move where you're told. Jay, what's the situation? Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh no. Fucking Kamui. I'm heading towards Jay's point. Inamata, be careful and move ahead. Inamata, do you read me? Answer me, Inamata. Uh, he's not answering. Do you want to die? We're going up against Kamui. Keep calm. Inamata. You too? I'll kill him. Jay, move forward. Don't let Inamata die. I'll try. Jay, do you read me? Be sure to collect my body, even if we end up killing each other. Inamata, get back to the mission. Don't let Sakamoto die in vain. Disobeying orders will get your ass done. Remain calm. Chief, thanks for everything. Inamata. Damn. Okay. Oh no. Move to point GFO4. Fall back. The mission has failed. I repeat, the mission has failed. Damn. Well, everyone died. That didn't work out as planned at all. Jay, glad you're okay. We lost two, the mission failed. There are no excuses. Retreat. We can't allow any further sacrifices. I let my subordinates die like that. Jay, laugh at me, will you? The only thing this old man can do is get his revenge. Conway will be showing up soon. Right here. Jay. Do you know the phrase, flower, sun, and rain? I know that's another Suda51 game that I still need to play. That came out after this, though. The answer is inside Kamui. Don't let him get to you. Kamui isn't here. Kamui's right next door. Kamui's just peeking in. You get me? Jay. It's time we said goodbye. Take care. Oh, no. That's not good. That's really not good. Oh. So that's what happened. We just completely failed. Okay, we're back at the hospital. All right then, so you remember, right? The special forces unit was wiped out. What happened? Tetsu, come on. What? 
He isn't right. Huh? Hey, you listening? He's in a state of psychosis. I think they're talking about me. I don't think he can speak. Looks like it. So that's their excuse for the player character to not be able to talk. What do we do? I guess we got no choice. Should we head out? The fuck are you talking about? Turn on the recorder. You're right. Hmm? It won't work. The battery's dead. Well, that's useless. Whatever. Write this all down. Okay. Look at this guy. Well, you even forget this guy's face? Sumio. Quit fucking around with the recorder like a little kid. Fuck off, old man. <laughs> I know. Fuck you say to me, asshole? I'll blow your fucking head off. Oh my god, there's so much... So much foul language. Fine, whatever, just ask the questions. I know. Eight hours ago, the guy you guys were chasing. Kamo, we escaped to the woods near the isolation ward. Then there was a chase, special forces were destroyed. Sakamoto and Inamata were killed in the line of duty. Natsume is still out cold in the ICU. Tetsu. Hmm? So one more push, huh? Don't. Why not? He's still ex he's extremely delicate. Any more and delicate. Sumio, homicide. Where's Kusabi? He's here. He's in. It's an emergency. Get to the scene right away. Where to? Sending it over now. See you at the scene. Wait. She fucking hung up. What should we do? We go, obviously. No, I mean, what? Jay. Hmm? What do we do about this? He's the sole witness. So we bring him. But without Dr. Tachibana's permission, fuck that guy. This isn't something personal. Fuck off. Seriously? Are they kidnapping me from the hospital? <clears throat> Come on, we're going. Huh? What's up with this chinchilla anyway? Chinchilla? It's kind of a shitty nickname after all. This guy's got a face like a fucking private detective. In that case... Private Dick Chinchilla. No, that's not it. He's sort of a big guy. Big Private Dick Chinchilla. What the? This is worse than the Chinchilla. Nope, that sucks. I got it. Just shorten it to Big Dick. Big Dick? Big Dick. That's a cool sounding nickname. Okay. <laughs> I guess it's a nick better than Chinchilla? I don't know. That's it then, big dick. What do you think, Sumio? That's awesome! Okay, I didn't expect him to agree with it. Let's go, big dick. Okay, well, we've been kidnapped and sent from the hospital. And we're going with them to a homicide scene. That seems chill. Hey Rag, nice to see you. Why are we having a literal dick measuring contest? We aren't, they just decided to give my character that nickname for some reason. They were calling me Chinchilla earlier, now they're apparently we're Big Dick. So where to? Just past the sewer. Are the Unit 1 guys here? Yeah. Hachisuka and Morikawa should be. They sure are quick to jump on an easy score. Let's hurry. Hurry up, big dick. That's really what he's gonna call me now, huh? Alright, sewer lines. Crime scene investigation. It's really nice that they... They redid all the models for the HD version, because I'm pretty sure the PS1 models looked a lot more primitive than this. Wait, am I playing as... Am I still myself right now? I think I am, huh? Hmm. 
talk to him. You're late, Tetsu. We're not sitting around on our asses like Unit 1. Who's this guy? The witness. We brought him from the hospital. I heard Natsumi's guys all went down. Yeah, this guy's the only one left. Some sort of superhuman? He's Big Dick. Nice to meet you, Big Dick. This is Natsume's special little guy. Be nice to him. Of course. So, who's our guy? You didn't hear? It's Kamui. Kamui? You mean Silver Kamui? So you remember, huh? I mean, how could I forget? What about this one? It's really messed up. It's like... Oof. That's a weird way to murder someone. How she got strung up there, I can't even... It's been a while since we've had a nasty one like this. So it was him. Him? Kamui did this? Yeah. No fucking question, this was Kamui. But how? With that weird harpoon gun. He got four people with it. And he gouged out the different parts. God, get her down now. Fucking Christ. Jeez. Uh, not seen the original or this before, but this environment does look like a PS1 thing, but less pixelated. Yeah, I can, yeah. You're pretty spot on about that. Um, let's see, we could talk to the younger detective. What's up with the body? Take a look. We're just getting started. Seems like not much time has passed. Can you just keep quiet for me? Who's this? A special survivor. We brought him just in case. His name's Jay. Oh, he actually called me by my name. Okay. Hi, Jay. My name's Hachisuka. He's in a state of shock. He can't speak. That's our explanation for why our character doesn't talk. Which is pretty funny. Well then, good thing you brought him along then, huh? It was Tetsu. Usabi. Um... Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, big dick. <laughs> uh, this area and our POV reminds me of Resident Evil Survivor, which is likely an insult. Uh, the controls and the... Um, it, it's, it's not very in intuitive. It is a little tricky to get to figure out how everything works. Cop A, Cop B. I haven't played Resident Evil Survivor, but I know the Resident Evil spin-off games tend to not be that great. Who's Kamui? I don't really know either, but apparently he's some top secret serial killer. But I've never actually heard of him. It was all just rumors before. Nobody thought he was actually a real person. Why is this all not publicized? This world is full of the unknown. I thought it was just all made up stories. There's lots of stuff that little guys like you and I simply never know. Crime is just like the darkness. It isn't meant to be seen. That makes sense. Still, get this out of the way. Approximately 12 hours since the time of death. Looks like decay is progressing. A lot of water's entered the skin and is simply swelling. 12 hours. It was Kamui. The time frame fits. 5 hours between the woods and this. That would be enough time. Got an ID? So Kamui is this, like, I guess he was a really notorious serial killer 20 years ago. And he just had, like, some really intense mental issues. Um, and, uh, he did, I don't know, he had some spring of killings, I guess, and then he got locked up, but he was crazy, so he went to, like, this mental hospital. And he had been kind of, like, just in a state of, like, I don't know what you would call it, like not like a coma, but just like comatose, just... He was just... Just nothing for 20 years and then suddenly he like woke up. And he's he broke out and he's like killing people again. Hey Monica, is that John Lennon? <laughs> well he's got John Le Lennon glasses on, doesn't he? Uh, let's hurry and find where it happened. So he didn't actually kill her here. Nope. He did it somewhere else and then he left her here, so it would stand out more. I'll handle the ID. Do it. Sumio, take a look around. Roger that. Hachisuka. Where's Hachisuka? 
she left. She left to attend the autopsy without even fucking saying anything? That sort of research is important, so whatever, fuck it. How about a big dick? You remember anything? So yeah, um, oh yeah, kind of, a, kind of an Ozzy Osbourne look too as well, like a young Ozzy. So before he killed this lady, about five hours before that, my entire team was killed. I was the only survivor. I'm, I'm part of a special crime unit. I don't know why I'm walking up here. Seems a little... Help me, 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 help me. And a few more help me's. Okay. That's chill. Let's keep moving forward. In the bright and dark plaza, everyone played together in harmony and killed each other. With wonderful smiles, the gentlemen laugh happily and say... Do you want to be happy, baby? Do you want to be happy, baby? Do you want to be happy, baby? The gaudy man said it three times in a row. Everyone looks so happy and answers. I'm going to be happy, mama. Everyone wants to be happy. I can't wait for the fun weekend. What's up, big dick? The hell is that? Random lady. It's a doll, right? Oh, it is a doll. Look at the elbows joints. Uh, Monica says, I'm gonna create a level for Mega Man Maker. Each level will have a theme song from a different game as the stage theme. Oh, that's a cool idea. What is this old thing doing here? No idea. Hmm. Let's help Naked Girl. I guess it was a doll. But was the doll the one... Oh, we can't say anything because we're... Traumatized, so we couldn't tell them that we heard the doll talking. I guess that would explain that. Because I sure as hell would have told them. March 29th, 1999. On a Monday. 11 a.m. Wait, that might be the same day, actually. Because this all started pretty early in the morning. The Heinous Crimes Unit 1. Naka, get everyone together. I want to gather info on the events leading up to here and how we'll move forward. 24 words, Heinous Crime uh, Prevention Chief Director Kotobuki Shinji. Shinji Kotobuki. 51 years old. HC unit boss, deeply insightful and very conscientious and sympathetic. Consequently, his popularity is amazing. <laughs> uh, Kotobuki doesn't directly go out into the field, but he provides crucial support from the sidelines. Cases are never solved by chasing them from Kotobuki's point of view. You have to wait patiently. He's a man who knows how to manage people. Uh, it's a good thing we can't write down what we want to say while mute. Oh yeah, maybe we're too traumatized to write. <laughs> uh, Monica said, I want to use the theme song from Contra 1 Level 3. Is that the one where you're like jumping up the waterfall? It's been a while since I played Contra. Heinous Crimes Unit 1 Special Agent Naka Tegawa Morichika. 35. Eccentric man who usually works investigations alone. Originally from the public security department, he has connections all over the place. He's also close with neighboring jurisdictions and supports investigations with his own info. His trademarks are his slicked back hair and pressed shirts. Well, at least he dresses nicely. <laughs> Hurry the fuck up and get it done. So I guess we're being introduced to the heinous crime unit people now. Kusabi Tetsugor. Oh, we know this guy already. This is like the guy we've been running into since the start of the game. 44, he's in the crime unit. His weapon is a Colt Officer's ACP. Out of loyalty for veteran detective Kotobuki, he joined the heinous crimes unit upon its establishment. He sometimes acts as Sumio's stopper, sometimes troubles the younger agents with his explosive behavior. 
He also swears like a sailor. More afraid of being hated by his daughter than anything else in the world, Kusabi is seriously considering quitting smoking. Currently, his biggest source of worry is his eldest daughter, Toriko's overseas studies. Let's get started. And here's the younger detective. Sumio. 26. The backbone of the 24 Words HC unit, he works investigations together with Kusabi. Not one to conform to nor conflict with the police force, he knows his place and puts all of his focus on crime. And there's her. Hachisuka Chizuro. 25. Oh, she's got a weapon too. Sign of the HC unit as Morikawa's partner, a beautiful female detective, originally worked in the crime lab. Her father is 24 Words Mayor, Kaori Hachisuka. Ah, okay. Kauro. Kauro. Kauru. Ah. Some, some Japanese names are tricky to pronounce. Kaoru. Anyways, extremely serious and hardworking when it comes to her duties. She's quite proud and tends to stick out within the department. Not very well liked by Kusabi. So they butt heads a lot. And then the John Lennon, Ozzy Osbourne guy. Morikawa Kiyoshi. 38 years old. He uses a Beretta. Join HC unit together with Kusabi from the time it was established. One of the oldest members, having learned the basics of investigation from Kotobuki. Known for his excellent investigation work, he is a support specialist. Cleverly using the truth to his advantage, his investigative style is veteran level. Strongly trusted by Kotobuki, he's usually tasked with writing up silver case reports. This feels more like the start of the game. It's like the first 90 minutes is almost like a prologue all together and then it really gets to it. Hello, this is Nake Tagawa. Kumue, uh, Kamui Uehara has escaped from the hospital isolation ward has killed four people, currently still at large. Kamui is assumed to have made his way into the city where he's currently in hiding. Now three things. First off, there's something I'd like everyone to be consistent with. The official name of this case is the Kamui case. It's a good simple name. Second, I'd like you all to watch this video. Hachisuki, start the tape. This video comes from a guard robot. Okay. Well, how thorough. <laughs> Uh, fast forward it. I can't. It'll damage the tape head. Whatever, let it play. This is the scene of the crime. There in the back is where the counseling room is located. Yeah, so what? What about it? This is where the female victim worked. At the time of the murder, she was wearing her own clothes. So she was going home. Yes. So what does this mean? Any hospital this large has changing rooms. The job requires a uniform and due to rules concerning health and safety, wearing one's own private clothes while entering or leaving is prohibited. So there was someone she wanted to see so badly she was willing to break the rules. She's believed to have been meeting with Kamui in secret. The fuck is wrong with this broad? Lovesick, I'd assume. She works in a hospital after all. And what else? So Kamui killed her. We've gotten some comments. Apparently the victim, Yoriko Sona Sonoda, and Kamui were involved physically, so they were fucking. And it seems it was strictly one-sided from Sonoda. Kamui was mentally impotent, so... So he was pretty much... Oh god, I can't say that word. Jesus. Uh, what a lucky dude. To a woman, he may have been the ideal man. Like a doll with no emotions who will never betray you, the perfect man whom you can just set down by your side forever. Think so? Wouldn't that be boring? Also, assuming all women like this is pretty sexist. But it'd be comfortable and easy, right? Well, it would be easy, but still. Let's get back on track. Sonata seduced Kamui and lured him here. So she was basically using him because he was, he was like comatose. God damn. So she seduced Kamui and was killed. 
and then she was left here. Hold on. The lead is different, isn't it? Yes. In Yuriko Sanada's case, the scene of the murder and the place her body was dumped were the same. In Yuka Kawai's case, it's two separate places. After killing her in her home, he moved the body. That's pretty complicated for Kamui. Got something, Tetsu? No, never mind. Here's the victim's profile. The victim is Yuriko Sonoda, 26 years old female, worked as a counselor. After graduating from the medical school, she started work at this hospital. Her most recent patient was Kamui. She'd been counseling Kamui since about six months ago. Recently, they'd been in some form of contact almost every day. Cause of death is a specialized harpoon gun. The body shows signs of per preparation in four places. Inside her uterus, we found traces of bodily fluid thought to be Kamui's. We're currently waiting for a positive ID. Estimated time of death between 10 p.m. and 11 p.m. March 27th. Matches the time the tracking style have been tracking Kamui almost perfectly. Next up profile of the victim found in the sewer. Yuka Kawai, 25 years old. Worked at a digital media sales firm. She was in charge of Kamui's projects. Hey, double O. Is this LAPD simulator? It's probably closer to, to Neo Tokyo simulator. Since we're in Japan, but pretty much. She took two shots to the head and one each in the chest and the stomach, leaving the same penetration marks as Sonoda. Estimated time of death between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. We're waiting on test results for further details. I'll leave the details to Naka. Next. All right, and finally, I'll give a simple explanation of Kamo Uehara's history. Please take in as much of this info as you can. Not your run-of-the-mill criminal. This man has been completely overtaken by an evil darkness. Go ahead and toss common sense right out the window for this. See, it's not really a Yakuza similar, uh, simulator either, Double O, because instead of gangs, we're dealing with a serial killer with crazy darkness, I don't know. This is a photo of Kamui. It's from four years ago. Let me see. Okay, if I may continue. So his head was shaved at the time. With regards to how we proceed, that'll do. Unit two is the brawn, and you unit one guys are the brains of the operation, right? That makes sense. That's basically right. Investigation Unit 1's analyzing the database to try to predict how the suspect will move and where he will appear. Investigation Unit 2 will collect the data not yet in the database and investigate the areas the tracking satellite can't reach. Everyone else await orders. That's all for now, let's get to it. Okay. Yeah, he looked very different from what I remember. I think that's him actually. I guess he he had four years to grow his hair out, so I guess that's makes sense. Reading Rainbow Simulator. There is a lot of reading, I'm not gonna lie. It is, I'm, I'm probably going to have to take a break soon, because, woof, the narrating does, does get to your voice eventually. I, I don't know yet if I'm going to continue playing through this on stream, I'll, I'll definitely play through it by myself in any case, um, but we'll see. Stakeouts are Unit 2's job. What are you talking about? You whiny bitch. Jeez, so mean. Why do you try working your delicate little ass off day after day, huh? Those are your duties, aren't they? The data you pick up isn't worth dick. This forensic investigation bullshit is old news. Go ahead and investigate however you want if you want to just waste time. Please just stop complaining. Complaining? Who the fuck is complaining? It's criticism. You're doing your goddamn job wrong. 
up to now we've collected 26 pieces of useful data. How about that? Drawing accurate data, we need 10,000 samples. Do you understand? Do you? You want to do this for us? Data on 10,000 abandoned buildings and empty rooms? Are you going to find it for us? If so, then I'll handle the stakeout for you. Well, that's enough, Hachisuka. Fuck. <laughs> Let's shut the fuck up already. Yeah, yeah, I got it. You want us to handle the stakeout, right? Fine, we'll do it. Let's go set up the stakeout. Tetsu, a moment. Oh, what is this, a love letter? What's up? I got this from Munakata. Munakata? That's rare. It's Kamui's hideout. For reals? My info is certain, yeah. And it's a love letter? Creepy. It was passed on. Sorry. Be careful. I'll take up the rear. Let's meet up later. Got it. Sumio. Come on. Where did it come from? That info. Doesn't fucking matter. Come on, let's move. It's a stakeout. This is no time to mess around. Tetsu. Whatever. We sit here wasting time, he's gonna get away. But... Just hurry up. What about Jay? Yeah, what about me? Is this where we get left behind? We got secret info we're not allowed to tell our partner about? Oh, I found this info on the floor, you see. Four oh seven PM. My room. Whose room is this? Okay. So we're actually able to save again. So I might actually save here and call it a night just because uh Ooh, the narrating does get to you after a while. I, I should probably if I do this again, I should probably have some, like, hot tea ready to go before then. But yeah, I think I'm going to wrap up for tonight. But thanks, peep uh, the peeps that showed up and all that. We'll see if I continue this on stream. If not, I'll probably play through it off stream. Um, but yeah, you guys all have a good night. Tomorrow, we'll, we'll see. I'll, I might end up doing Ion Fury tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that's it. Peace out.